What's going on guys, this is Mr. Black Magic of the DRM Gamecast, and I'll be walking you through this achievement walkthrough of The Fall on Xbox One. Now a few things I want to let you know, I'll be getting every achievement except for the Merciful achievement on this playthrough, which is at the very end, you have to make a choice at the very end, and depending on which choice you choose, there's two achievements for each, one achievement for each one. So you will have to play the game twice regardless of what you do. Because it saves right after you make your decision, right after the, right when your achievement pops, it'll save, so you can't quit out, you can't restart checkpoint, anything like that. So with that said, I would highly recommend playing through this game once without a walkthrough. It's one of the best ID or indie games on the Xbox One in my opinion. And I, so I highly recommend you just play through it once. It's only about a couple hour game, depending on how fast you get through the puzzles. And a quick run through of this, it's, you know, the video is only about 45 minutes. So a second playthrough is not going to take you long. But, you know, not everyone wants to play like that, so here we go. Quick run through of the fall. Now I will be skipping through uh, most of the dialogue options. I'll just be smashing A. Skipping right past everything. Um, there will be a couple spots where I'll slow down a little bit just so you guys can see uh, which option I'm choosing because sometimes it matters. Sometimes you have to select a certain option to continue. So, first of all, we're going to pick off this little uh, screw right here and take off this arm. It's going to be a lot of little things like that you have to collect throughout this game that you need to get back. And it's kind of like a Metroidvania style. Sometimes you have to go backwards and then come forward you know go to the go ahead to the next area and then come back to complete the puzzle in front of you everything's not in a straight path so sometimes you got you, you do have to go back and forth to complete puzzles so here we go getting the first upgrade you just hit start to go into this menu And skip up through all this, and then you just hit A, but access is restricted right now, so then back out. Now if you go here, you just use that robotic arm we grabbed earlier, and I'll grab a little keypad, and we're going to take that all the way back to the left side and go up the elevator. Now you actually can go below this elevator, uh, don't bother going down there now because you can't do anything now, you need to, you need to go down there a little later, so you, there is a spot you have to go underneath right here, but don't bother doing it now. And when you get up top up here, there's going to be a uh, frying pan, some, some pan of some sort, so make sure you grab that so you don't have to come back and get it later. And use the key card on this little terminal here. And this is where you meet the caretaker. First time you see the caretaker. Artificial life form. State your primary function. I am the a Mark 7 ARID. Negative. You are being evaluated for depurposing. State your primary function. My primary Human impulse. Can you be of evaluation? Initializing. No. Now here's actually where you get your first upgrade. I kind of like how the upgrade system works in this game. Because you're an AI, the protocol has to be overridden by you being in a danger state. So now that he's, you know, trying to mess with you, now you can upgrade this finally. So we got the networking capability, now you just hold right bumper and go to the left for network. You can interact with different things around the game using that. And now that we have the network, now we can interact with the weird guy on the cross. It's actually camoed, so it just looked like a little blue light there, but that's actually a guy using his camouflage capabilities. So here we go, here's the cross, just look at it and network with it. And now just gonna be a bunch of dialogue here, just skip through this. Think the two that you only need to do is seek medical and request his gun. After that, now you can use the pan to collect a couple of drops of blood on the right side of him. 
I'll be using this to take down to the area underneath the elevator to lure out a little creature down there. So on this part, just press the button and then just run off real quick, so then the space below the elevator will open up. And run down here, and then you place the pan with the blood on the ground to lure out the creature. Then you kind of have to back pretty far up uh, to make them come out. You can't stand right next to it, so you have to kind of go a little ways backwards. Now this part actually confused me the first time I didn't, didn't really understand what happens, but the little creature ate his gun. And so he's drinking the blood and right here you just network and you're basically networking with the gun to cause it to shoot which kills the creature so now we got the gun and it's time for a little combat a little tutorial here on how to use the gun was actually surprised this game had uh, shooting mechanics didn't expect that but they're, they're actually not bad you can take cover you can go invisible to take cover um, there's two different styles of enemies. It's pretty good. As always, in combat, you want to just go for headshots. It kills them a lot faster. You see right there, it's a one-shot kill. Sometimes it won't be a one-shot kill. I believe it's if you see the light on their face, which sometimes it's not there, depending on which way they're facing or how they're looking at you. But always go for the head if you can. It's a lot faster, and you'll need to be doing that for an achievement coming up here. Uh, in the next area too. You'll have to kill a couple of guys pretty fast back to back. So now that we got the gun we can go head back to this guy and there's a little box up to the left of him which is keeping the uh, keeping the cross up. But right here you see you can do the takedown. You just press Y when you're behind an enemy. That'll instantly take him down. So this little box here on the left just pop that. Now you do have to click the right stick to switch between your light and the laser. So anytime you want to interact, switch to the light. Anytime you're shooting, it'll be on the laser. Um, but always, but just remember to keep switching back. So now we took the power chip from him and put it into this little console, and then just walk right into the light and just let yourself get shot here. And it's like the same thing. Now you're in danger. Now the protocol gets overridden, and so now we can get the camouflage ability. So you just back up and go right there and right underneath this light, then you just use your camouflage, sneak right on through, use the key card on this console, and we're heading up to the next area. And that was the first story achievement. Uh, coming up here in a, in a minute, allegory, there it is, for Escape in the Cave. Self-evaluation initiated. I have directly violated operating parameters by placing my pilot in mortal danger. Logging recommendation for ARID termination upon return to dock. Operating parameters were not violated. Infraction enabled access to systems that safe search parameters. I always got messed up on this part here, you're supposed to go camo, but for whatever reason I hit it too early and my guy just kind of slides forward. Right here, wait for the guy at the top, you can see his health bar. Get right behind him for a nice easy takedown. Alright, in this spot there's a lot of talking, you have to make certain decisions to keep getting to the next uh, part. So right here I just hit number two, and then hit number two again, I'll leave a message, and then I'll keep saying a little more. This is the mainframe, by the way, for future reference when I refer to this AI, it's the mainframe. My pilot, are you a... No problem. The medic... Right! There's a big... Administral now. Consort deviant. This is... And here's the caretaker again. Droid... Droid... Domestic... The deviant... So now once this, uh... 
once this gets activated here in a minute, you'll want to go in camo right when you're done talking. You basically like decline uh, what he's offering you, and then you go in camo because he's going to activate the security guard right here. Now he's going to mess with this panel and it's not going to work, but then if you see right above him, the light just shut off. So now we're going to go over there and shoot that and it's going to drop the wire down. And then you connect it to the console and now it's turned on with green light. So you do the same thing to make the security robot pop back out and go in camo again, but now when he activates the console it'll actually work. So you can just skip down to disengage. Alright, now that he opened that, now the area to the right has opened up, and you just walk down here, take a look at a couple of these uh, robots, and then the final one is a human. Just come right back, and now there's going to be a different op a different dialogue option that you can inquire about the dead bodies you just saw. Working together today, we create a more of our data bodies. And now that you learn that, now you can actually accept him. And we're heading up to the next area. Now this area is where the domestication test will start to take place. And there's going to be a lot of achievements we can get in this area before we move on. This evaluation will determine whether you are compliant with your function. This is also where we'll start collecting logs. This is the first area that we'll begin finding logs all around. Which there's not many. Uh, there's only about eight, I believe. And it seems like the achievement unlocks early. So you really don't even need to get all of them. When I got my achievement, there's still one right in front of me. So grab this little shoe bag here. This little shoe cover. And head on over here. Grab these flowers can't really do much with them now but you can go ahead and put them in this vase and then we'll come back to this test later there's four tests in this area and then four more tests in the next area and you have to complete seven of them before we move on and don't forget to grab this jar over on the right side before you come back here because we'll need that too so put the shoe cover over this uh, camera and then we'll activate this this test is basically to um, see if there's dust in the area, but you put the shoe cover over and it can't see any of the dust, so it thinks there's no dust and we get the point. Get to the kitchen, droid. Validate it. Now I come back downstairs, activate this terminal, and it'll basically tell you to go to the grocery store, which was previously locked. So now once you've activated that, now the grocery store will be open, so head all the way outside and to the right, and we'll get to the grocery store. A couple more enemies here. Sometimes uh, when you're doing things like this, when you come back through this area, one of these streets, there'll just be a couple more enemies spawn, so just be aware of that. Uh, go ahead and open up this electrical box. We can't do much with it just yet. But there's a little glass plane up here that you can shoot. And once you pop that enemy, a couple of little items will fall. Make sure you grab both of them. Now that gold coin, we're going to head upstairs, and there's a uh, workbench that we can turn the gold coin into a wire to fix that electrical box. In this area is where the other four tests are. None of them are activated now. You can't do anything with them just yet. You have to complete all four of the, uh, the domestic tests before we can do anything with these. So if you head all the way to the right here, this is where the workshop area is. There's a couple of things to grab here. The first is the log. And I'll be double checking these just to make sure we got them later on. Sometimes I'll walk past them again, just press A on it again just to make sure. But so there's two items right here. You want to grab both of these. And then the third spot is where you want to put the coin. And we'll pound that into a wire somehow. Coin into a wire. Just hammer it out.
Now I just head back right downstairs and we're going to go back into the grocery store and put the new gold wire into that electrical box to turn on the light. You saw that big slug, which we'll see those later on as well. They uh, don't like light, so anytime you're shining your flashlight on them, they'll kind of burn. And so that's what we're doing here. We're turning on the lights in this grocery store to get rid of it. And you see a light turns on, and there's a little uh, wire that's hanging down from the left side. If you shoot that, and, and here's where I, uh, I turned the brightness up because it was a little dark because I'm recording on 720p. So it's a little too dark, I thought, so I turned the brightness up. But shoot that wire on the left side, it'll drop the, uh, drop the light. And now there's two items, make sure you grab them both here. Now I could be using my camo right here to take cover, and there's also cover just throughout the map, but as long as you're hitting them pretty quick, you won't die. But you can die, you know, if you're not taking cover and you're losing a lot of health, so just whatever's going on for you. So put the head here on the table, and it'll count this for nutrition. Kid, whatever, <laughs> it's a wooden kid and doesn't mind it. It's some type of nutrients there, so nom nom nom. All right, yeah. And now that we got that dead hand, there's a couple of different switches we can activate with the glowing yellow palm print. Make sure you grab this shoe cover here because we'll need that taken off for later. So use the dead hand to activate these types of switches. So There'll be about two more, I believe. Now coming up in this area. Um, shortly after this area is the military machine six feet under achievement but first go through all these different uh, options here and then there will be a wire you can cut now this allows us to change the season for the test with the flowers because previously purple flowers don't work so we go to beautification and change the season to winter and there you go so it's set to purple now now we can come back to that a little later and it'll work. Make sure you grab this item right here. We'll need that for a little later. And here's another log. Make sure you don't miss this power generator right here. It's kind of hidden in the dark, but we'll need that to be turned on. And then you just keep going to the right, and there'll be another ladder to take back up. Use the hand again. Now we're going to come all the way to the left and there's going to be another room with another hand switch that we can use to get up. Now this is where you're going to be coming up to the military machine six feet under achievement. But before we get to that, make sure you just dump that green blood that we got earlier into that little mushroom that'll turn all of them red. And we'll need that for later as well. So for the military machine, you will need to kill, I believe it's four robots in very quick su succession. So you basically need to headshot them, uh, headshot all of them that you can. Um, here's another log right here. If you don't get the achievement, you can pause and quit out and then continue your save and try it again. Make sure if you want to do that, do not walk all the way to the right afterwards because it will checkpoint you. So if you don't get the achievement, just pause it, back out. It's going to be right here after we get the rapid fire upgrade. This very first enemy doesn't count, um, but it's the next four enemies after this one. So I do unlock the achievement in this playthrough, so you'll be able to see how I do it here in a second. But you basically just want to aim forward. All the enemies will be lined up, so you just want to aim, keep your aim steady, and just try and headshot as many as you can, and just keep on clicking the trigger. Um, it's it's a little difficult just because if enemies go into cover, it's hard to get them. But here we go. So one, two, three, all three of those. The ones with the blue electricity on them take a little longer. And then bam, pop that one. Looks like there was five actually. 
So there's the achievement. If the achievement doesn't unlock right there, like I said, just press start and quit out and continue your save. So now make sure you grab that generator out of there and here's another log. And there's a little secret spot here where you can drop down a ladder and we're going to use this to just drop right through the ceiling and break down back onto the second floor. Now there is achievement for getting killed by those fungus. Uh, I'll be getting that a little later, so you can either get that right there if you want to, but I get it a little later here coming up. Uh, right here actually. So, this takes a little while. You have to keep backing in and out of the fungus, mushroom, whatever you want to call it, because the uh, that gas, that poison gas that's coming up, it won't stay there and it won't keep injuring you, so you have to back in and out, make it pop up again, get injured a little bit, back in, back out, and you just keep doing this until you die. There's no achievement for not dying or anything like that, so you don't have to worry about that, and the way I just did it, I got a save right before this area, so once I continue after dying, we'll just be right back here. And there you go, the fungicide achievement for couldn't escape, couldn't escape the fungus. Alright, now right back where we were, this spool of wire that I dropped, you're going to take the wire cutters and cut a big chunk off. And then take the tire iron we grabbed earlier and take this wheel off this truck here. And then attach the wire we have in your inventory. It pops up when you're near this area, when you're near the wire on the ground, so attach that. And then attach some more right here. And when we come back to this, this will allow us to complete both of these, plus another achievement, both of these uh, tests plus a separate achievement in this area. So now we're just going to head right on back downstairs. But before we get all the way down, there's going to be a fungus in this area that you'll need to shoot. When it's red and you shoot them, they'll explode. For that, make sure we put that other generator we picked up into this one, and it'll power it up and make these cars go faster which you'll need to complete for that test right there. Like I said, I just grabbed these just to make sure. Don't want to... Didn't remember if I picked up everyone, so I just grab it again real quick. So this fungus here, shoot that one and see if it drops that big pipe. You'll need that to complete the test right downstairs. Now for this one, this test, you basically have to make the baby stop crying, but that uh, failure kill tube right there is now going to be right over where the baby is. But it's the failure tube for this test. So now that we took that shoe cover off the camera, this test will fail when we start it, because it can see all the dust in the area. But then the failure tube is right there, and it sucks the baby up, and then that completes this test, because the baby is no longer crying. Yeah, and we go back downstairs, and now we can complete the flower test, because if you remember we changed the season, and so now these purple flowers will work, whereas before they wouldn't have worked because it was the wrong season. And that's the achievement for domesticated, complete all the domestic tests. Now we still have the civic test, I believe they're called. So those are the four tests up here. You can actually only complete three of them. And then um, the fourth one you'll have to come back to later on in the game, pretty much at the end. So right here is going to be a couple of options, couple of dialogue options for the kids these days doesn't learn achievement. So now first hit that top option for talking about the primitive technology. That'll fail you. And then now we're actually going to complete it, so start it up again. And initiate the test. Now because we connected that spool of wire before, it'll complete both of these tests right here. 
Make sure you just talk right back I to the guy who'll tell him to start repairs. the truck up. Give her a go now, sir. Child satisfied. Validated. And the kid's satisfied, and that'll complete that test. And now the truck works, so that'll complete this test. And then for the doesn't learn achievement, you have to come right over here, talk to this old lady. She'll be saying that her kid is on the other side of the street, but we know the park was the other way, so select the top option to tell her the park is the other way. That'll fail this test and unlock the doesn't learn achievement. Who's that there? Who with you? Walk in front of these cars so they follow me. Now to actually complete this test, you just start it up and follow her along that path. You'll see that there's a broken spot there. Can't do anything about that, so we just start it up again. I just stand here and let her walk, and she gets hit by a car. Now you can just pick up the cardboard piece. These aren't actually people here. It's just cardboard cutouts, and walk you right on into the scanner. Woman escorted across the street. These old legs aren't what they used to be. Validated. Merit point awarded. So now that we've completed all three of those tests, you have to complete those three first before you can come to this last one, because all three of those cardboard cutouts will now appear at this party, which we need them all before we can start this one up. And here you see there's all three of them. About time. Hey. And we come to this test, and you have to actually lie to the guy, but you can't, because that's not part of your coding, so we just acknowledge him, and it'll fail us, but then a little car drops out of this guy here in the tube. Now I can take that and go all the way to the right, swipe it on the keypad with the car car reader, and uh, continue on. You you have the main. He will. You could override it yourself. Why? Do not. couple enemies to kill there. Just keep on moving through this area. I just grabbed this log again just to make sure, as I said before. And swipe that key card right here. Domesticon repurposing depot number 127. As always, keep it Alright, now we're heading down to the lab area. There's gonna be a couple more achievements we can get down here. Now right when we get down here there's going to be a slug at the top left. Make sure you don't kill it. If you do, I believe there's another. There's other ones you can get as well. But this is just the one I get it on. So right here at slug top left, just flash your light on them. There'll be a couple on the ground, I pop those, and there's another one on the ceiling that I believe I shoot. So pop these two so they're not messing with you. And that one was shooting at me, so I just said fuck it and shot it. But so this one, you just keep aiming your light at them. All that green mist will just keep falling down. Just keep your light on them for a little while, and that'll unlock the sadistic achievement. Light them up. And there it is right there, and then just pop them. And here's another log right here. I just go through every single one of these entries you have to to continue. We'll go all the way to the right here. And there's a couple items we'll be picking up in these next few rooms. Make sure you grab all those. I just shoot all these slugs on the ceiling. So right here, you grab these two tubes. And there's going to be another computer right here. Make sure you grab that knife there. Now it's going to be a spot on the floor and we'll use that superconductive fluid that we found a while ago. Pour that right into the ground, it'll highlight 
the mainframe piece under the floor. Now coming up right here is the Tin Man achievement. There's going to be a couple of dialogue options and at the end you're going to end up killing all these robots in the background here. And the achievement is timing specific so you'll have to do it pretty quick. At the end there will be a thing where you just say acknowledge and just watch the um, dialogue choices I select and then a little red button will appear right to my right of the character. And you just look at that right away and then you just start smashing A because it's for never having a, never having a second thought. So you're just hitting A right away to initiate um, to kill all the robots and you just do that instantly. So if you do it quick enough you'll get the achievement. It's not too, you know, you'll be able to get it. It's not too bad. So right here you just hit analyze, little button there, aim at it, interact, and then just start mashing A right here. And you'll instantly press the button. And there's the achievement for 10 men. Alright, now that this guy jumped away, there's a cup here that wasn't there before, so make sure we grab that and we'll head back to fill it up with some nice sticky stuff. Some sticky stuff. I don't know what this is, a coffee machine, something. And there's a couple more uh, things we can interact with right here. This is where I actually get my diagnostic achievement for collecting all the logs. And as you see, there's another one right here. If that one counted, this one should count. And I still got the achievement one early, so if you don't get it for whatever reason, you can just grab that one as well. And then coming downstairs, there's going to be a chance to get the in a barrel achievement for nice reflexes. There's going to be a fish here that's jumping in the water. You have to first put the the uh, glass of sticky stuff that we found that'll attract these little fireflies here. And you see here, here's the fish coming up. Sorry, you can you saw right there his jump pattern. Now the achievement is for shooting him on your first shot. So we'll put this glass on a little uh, platform down there and kick it forward, and then the fish will jump out of the water, and you have to shoot him in one shot. If you miss, back out and try it again. So you go and just aiming straight ahead and pow, got his ass. So like I said, if you don't get that, you can try to back out and continue again. I'm not 100% sure if that'll work. I believe it will. But just give that a try if you end up missing that shot. And so for this panel right here, we'll just network with it because you can't actually interact with it. And do the same thing, drain all those robots to drain the power. Now that knife we got before, use that to slice open this fish, get some fish guts. And we'll have to go back upstairs before we continue on forward. And we're gonna head to that shower that we passed earlier put the fish guts in the spot labeled detergent, so we're basically going to be covering ourselves with the fish guts, sh literally showering ourselves with fish guts. And that'll let us continue past the second fish in the next area. So just keep on walking through this area. It's going to be another elevator over here. We're getting pretty close to the end. And down here, now this is where you'll be able to get the Consider That Divorce Achievement. And this fish, now that we have the fish guts, it'll actually let us walk through this water without attacking us. And then after the upcoming dialogue option, the fish will just be laying on the ground after the water gets drained. And you can just shoot it while it's on the ground. And that'll unlock the Consider That Divorce Achievement. First we got to network with this and there will be another button to drain these robots in the background again. Now that the 
water strain, just aim down and pop the fish one time. And there it is, uh, consider that a divorce achievement. Now for this right here, uh, just shoot all of these little eggs on the ceiling and on the ground. And coming up is the Regicide achievement, which is story based, you can't miss it, you have to do this to continue on. But basically what we're going to be doing is, now that it uh, we switched the cycle it's on now, so now it'll be feeding on these little slugs again. And we, ju we just want to make, the little slugs will be feeding on those fungus that we saw earlier. And we're going to be using the yellow and the purple tubes that we got up back in the lab to make them eat the fungus when it's turned one of those colors, and then the big one will eat the little slug and will cause a chain reaction. Nice little chemical explosion, which will blow up this big slug that's in our path. So I put in the purple one first. It doesn't matter which one you put in, uh, as long as you go to both spots, so just put one in each. Now for the second spots, the mushrooms right there above us, but we have to come back upstairs and there's a hole in the pipe where we can feed it down through the water and it'll hit the mushrooms. So right here on our right, this little spot where the water is coming out, put your second tube there. And now that he ate both the yellow and the purple one, cause a nice little chemical explosion, blows us up, get him out of the way. And it's nice that it actually spawns us down here, we don't have to walk all the way back. So there's the regicide achievement. And keep continuing on forward here. Hey, you may Now this is actually where we can get the Ask Questions Later achievement, and that is for instantly shooting this caretaker once we get out of the repair station on our right. So now he's taking our life support, you interact with the monitor above you, it'll open up the repair station on your right, Okay, okay. and then it, as soon as you get out you just want to be holding, holding left on your right stick, just hold it right after you get in, just start holding it right now. And then you just mash right trigger, because this is also a time sensitive one, you basically have to shoot him instantly. Um, it's not hard at all, Just you just can't take any time. So right now, while I'm mashing A, I'm holding left on the right stick, mashing right trigger. Right as soon as I take control of my character, bam, shoot him one time. And there's the ask questions later achievement. It's me, the I can secure Joseph. Now we're just going to continue on, there's going to be a lot of robots in these next two areas that you'll need to fight, so either use your camouflage or use cover. So there'll be a lot of enemies, so you'll probably be taking some good damage. I ended up using cover in this area because I was getting a little low on health and want to die. Coming up, there's only a few achievements left in the game. Uh, near the end here, we'll have a last fight with the caretaker. And as I said before, I'll be getting the value validated achievement for completing the evaluation. But the other option is the merciful achievement for basically not killing the guy at the end. You can either kill him or not kill him. And I found the easier one is obviously to just kill him, just to shoot him one time. The other achievement, if you're going for that one second, if you're going for that one first, it'll probably be a little easier, but I found it to be a tiny bit glitchy. Uh, when I started up a second game, it didn't unlock, so I had to play it through a third time. If you're doing it in the order I am, where you shoot the guy the first time and then save him the second time, what you want to try is to close out the game before you start your second playthrough up. So don't just instantly hit start on a new save and start a game but instead close out the game, press start, quit, 
and then load it back up and then select the new save file and choose to save him the next time. And another um, little trick that I did, I don't know if it's a trick or what, but one thing I did to unlock the achievement is if you're going for the one for not killing him, aim at him with your gun and your flashlight, just look at him, stand right in front of him, aim at him for, you know, 10-15 seconds, just to make sure if the achievement is a little glitchy, just to try and get it to register. Because once you leave the area and get to the point where the achievement will unlock, you won't be able to come back. So. I did the other option on this playthrough just because I didn't want to take the risk of it glitching and not unlocking. So the easier one is just to shoot him, like I said, after you finish this little boss fight. So now for the actual boss fight itself, you'll basically be jumping over the guy back and forth. He'll be going invisible, he'll be doing a little crouch and jump animation. Final. So you can see I'll do right here and just jump right on over him, and you just keep on shooting him. When he goes invisible, you can't actually hurt him, just like they can't hurt you when you're invisible. So I just back up and keep just keep on shooting him, keep shooting him. Now when he jumps up to this area, there's going to be two big blue, um, I don't know, generator things on each side. Just shoot those, because that allows him to regain his health. So you have to go through this three times before he's dead. So he goes invisible again, just jump right on over him. Alright, and then there's another one on this right side, shoot that. And now we'll have to just beat him again one more time. Alright, so here is the point where you decide if you want to kill him you are or let him stay alive. I have followed my pro No, you resolve challenges by I you cheat. Lying is not explicit. Now I'm going for the uh, face off achievement, I believe it is. Where you just walk up to him and shoot him one time. But as I said, if you're trying to get the achievement for having for saving him or leaving him alive. Uh, being merciful, the merciful achievement. I would just look at him, walk right up to him, look at him with your gun, look at him with your flashlight, go over his whole body a few times, um, stand right in front of him, back off, back on, you know, just because it is a little glitchy. See, as I'm doing right here, just scanning him over. And then you want to just walk out of this area if you're going for the merciful achievement. I just pop him right there and unlock the face off achievement for killing him and completing your evaluation. Now here at the very end is where we can get the on second thought achievement. Now that we can actually lie because we killed him and, and uh, changed time. our programming hey, basically, now we can lie. But to get the on second thought, you'll want to lie on your first time and then tell the truth on the second time. So lie and then acknowledge. That unlock the come clean achievement. And now for actually completing this, you'll just want to lie twice, and that'll actually complete this test, and if you remember this is the eighth test that we wouldn't, that we couldn't complete before. So now we can complete that, and that'll unlock the validate achievement for completing your evaluation. And we just get into the end here, and this will, we'll be heading up to the last part of the game to unlock the Fallen, complete part one. And the only one you'll be missing after this is the Merciful, which like I was just explaining before, you just have to play through the game one more time. Now that you know how everything works, you can should be able to just run through it early, or if this is your second playthrough, and then you'll be done after this, depending on which one you choose at the, at the end, and if this is your first or second playthrough. Now I'll just interact with this screen here, and continue on to the right. And here's the final area of this, these dialogue options, it doesn't matter which one you'll choose. Uh, there's only one ending, you'll get to it at some point no matter which one, uh, which dialogue option you choose, sometimes uh, 
It's basically just making other options appear for you, but in the end, you get to the same spot, so it doesn't matter what you press here. Oops. Thank you for choosing Domesticon. And you are. I was. Thank you. You are. Oops. No. Joseph. You see. <sighs> and take off the helmet, and there's nothing in there. Never a human. Human's dead. And yeah, rip his arm off for good Thank measure, you. you know. Fuck it. He doesn't have a head, take off his arm too. And so coming up right here is the Fallen achievement for completing part one. And that's all for the Fall full achievement walkthrough. Thanks for watching guys. This is Mr. Black Magic of the DRM Gamecast. Make sure to check out our website, check out our YouTube channel, Twitch channel, all that good stuff. We do a lot of news reviews for all sorts of games. We'll be doing more walkthroughs like this in the future. And there you go. You know, you just need to go back and get your last achievement if you don't have that yet, and that's all for the fall. Check out our review on the site, which me and Omega both love this game. <laughs>